All right, so let's uh, start a new application and then look at uh, making static pages and just printing out like a hello world or something. Um, right now, I'm in the virtual machine, so let me come out. Um, now I'm in the virtual machine folder where the vagrant file is. And right there, I'm just going to connect to the machine with vagrant SSH. And right there, I'm going to make just um, a new uh, hello world application, whatever. Uh, in Rails and just have it work with MySQL. Um, so now what's, once it's done running the bundle, uh, we can go to the app folder. You need to be in the app folder to run uh, the commands. So right there, first you need to make the database for it um, with a db create, with rake db create. And once that's done, you can um, have the server uh, Start it at the port that the virtual machine is forwarding to. So I think mine is set up to be at 5800. Let me make another tab so that I can run my Rails commands. I'm just going to go into the virtual machine um, folder and make another connection. And I think I should be in the home directory. And then now I go to the Rails app folder, and I make a controller with the generate command. So this controller would be responsible for the pages. Say, uh, let's make the static pages like contact, about page, um, say the products page, uh, whatever you want to name it. So once that's done, we can go and review it. So here we are in the browser at port 5800. And you can go to the Pages controller and go to the About section, for example. So let's make some changes there. Um, the file is in Views, Pages controller, and in the About in the About file. So right here, let's just put in the Rails. Uh, opening tag and let's just say you know let's just print out a string so let's save that go back here and there we go and you can also change the home uh, home page so right now it's pointing to this file which is in the public folder so you can remove that it's called the index so once you remove that it's not gonna recognize it so now you need to change the routing file here. And uh, let's look for the root command where it sets your home directory. So let's go up here and put it right there. So the name of the controller is pages. The action that it's going to call is about this root line this right here this will set your home page so if you come back here now that is set to your home page